Hey beauties, welcome back to VLB Halloween. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get this classic Halloween look. The Queen of Hearts. I wanted to show you my take on it. And if you like this video, be sure you like it right now. And smash that subscribe button. And if you're ready to see how I got this look, then let's jump right in. Alright, so I'm first going to be slicking my brows back using a glue stick. And I'm going to be pressing them down with my finger. And this will make them lay really flat against my face and my skin. So that when we blend over it later with shadow, it's just very seamless and flat. I'm going to cover them up using my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. And this is an amazing concealer that I love using to block out my brows. And I'm just using a beauty blender to blend it into my skin really, really seamlessly. Next, I'm going to go in with some primer, and I am using the Varsali Unicorn Essence. I'm going to be using my Everyday Foundation on the circumference of my face, and on the center of my face, I'm going to be using a white foundation from Mehron. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this in the center because I want most of the bright look to be only in the center of my face because I kind of wanted this to look like a mask somewhat. And this is going to make our face look very, very bright right in that area, which kind of gives it that mask look. I'm going to lock in that foundation using my MAC Shivering White Face Powder, and this is going to help highlight the look and really bring it to life, as well as lock everything in. So next I'm going to go in and start creating this heart shape on my face. I didn't want to do a full heart, I kind of wanted it to look somewhat avant-garde, but you get the idea here that it is a heart. And it's going to be like basically two pieces of a heart around my eye, and you can use your brow shape to follow this out and make it look more like a heart that actually fits your face perfectly. So using your brows that are covered up by that concealer is a great map for this look. And I'm just curving that shape out and creating those hearts. And now I'm going to go in and use that same color on a contour brush and start contouring my face with this. I'm contouring my jaw and also my cheekbones to get this nice sculpted face. And you can see I'm really working that in. I'm next going to go in with Clown White, and I'm going to be using this to highlight around the heart, and this is by Mehran again. I'm just using this on an angled brush because I want to bring this heart forward to make it look more like a mask, and then shade around it using a brown eyeshadow, and this is going to give it a very three-dimensional effect. And this brown does have hints of red in it, so it goes really nice with this look. You can go back in with your fluffy brush and really blend that out to get a very seamless, seamless shading going on. I'm using a smaller blending brush and picking up some black to really make this look a little bit more harsh. And it kind of gives it a more creepy feel using black as a contour. It makes it more Halloween and I just love the way it looked with it. It really darkened up the outer portion of the face and I wanted there to be a nice contrast so I applied more white face powder to the center of my face. Going in on one of our eyes, we're going to be doing two different eye looks today. I'm going to be using a red eyeshadow first in the inner corner of my eye and then a black shadow on the outer corner. I'm just going to blend these two together seamlessly and then also take the black on that lower lash line and really smoke it out. And of course, highlight your brow bone with a white matte eyeshadow. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in my waterline with a black eyeliner and smoke that out even further and highlighting my inner corner with that white matte eyeshadow. And moving on, we're going to start creating these heart droplets under the eyes. I was really inspired by the look of cards and things like that, so I wanted to incorporate a lot of things I've seen on cards kind of in this look, and it gives it that vibe. I shaded around these hearts just using a red eyeshadow, and I actually used my Milk Makeup stamp to create these hearts at first, and then lined them a little bit darker with black body paint. I went underneath the eye with some silver glitter to kind of give the look of somewhat wetness under the eyes, almost like tears. And then I used some black little fun beads just around the heart shape. And I'm going to be doing this on both sides of my face. Now for some feather lashes and some more rhinestones because you know we never can have enough. I'm like obsessed with rhinestones. And glitter, clearly. <laughs> Alright, moving on to the other side of the eye. We're going to be drawing in the spade on the eye right now. And I just mapped this out with a thin brush at first and then filled it in using a black body paint. And because I'm getting closer to my eye, I went in with a black eyeliner instead of body paint and then sealed that in with some black eyeshadow. This is going to help prevent any creasing. I went over that with some black glitter and I think black glitter is probably my favorite type of glitter. I think it's so cool, it's so goth, and it looks really nice over black eyeshadow, it's just so perfect. 
and you want to go in with a smaller brush just to make sure you're covering all those areas with glitter. I'm going to use some more stones just around this area of the face and also some lashes I chopped up on the lower lash line. And it's kind of cool when things are uneven, it kind of gives that look that we're going for. It's just a very avant-garde Queen of Hearts look. I'm going to be going in with that red shade, that reddish brown we used to shade around those heart pieces and use this around my face. Going to make the look a little bit more cohesive that way and here I'm just adding in some more glitter. I wanted to show you guys like my full process even when I add in more glitter because you really need to see everything I'm doing if you want to replicate this look. I'm going to be going in with a red liquid lipstick. I did nude my lips out at first just so they match the center of my face. And I'm filling in this bow tie shape and I did go ahead and fill them in a little bit further because I wanted bigger lips for this look. And then I filled them in with some red glitter. And now I'm just shading around those heart pieces just to really define them. And moving on to the body, I was really inspired by American Horror Story classic clown makeup and things like that. And I wanted to create somewhat like a tent, like a circus tent look on my chest. And I felt like it would go really cool with this Queen of Hearts look. It gives it kind of a circus vibe, which I really, really like. And I just went in with a black and white body paint and I added in red just in the center of the white pieces and then a really big ribbon in the center filled with glitter. So I used that red glitter that I had on my lips actually in these red stripes. And because the body paint was wet, it was really easy for it to stick on. Here you can see I am going to draw in some black little hearts, just using some black body paint. And this really gives the impression that you are the queen of hearts. So if you want to be sure that people know who you are, make sure you add in hearts here and there. And dot in between those hearts, it gives a really fun vibe, kind of cutesy. I'm going to go ahead and put on my bow. And I just cut some ribbon to, you know, pop this bow on. It was just some ribbon I had. And I tied it up because that looked really cute. And this wig, this wig is giving Billy the Puppet vibes. I don't know about you, but it is totally giving me those vibes. I need to do that look sometime. But I put pom-poms on because I thought they were cute. And I sprayed the bottom of them with some red hairspray. I hope you guys love this Queen of Hearts look. I was so excited to show you guys my take on this classic Halloween look. I hope you loved it. And if you do love it, be sure you like this video. Smash that subscribe button. And thank you all so much for watching today. I will see you in my next tutorial.